Hi Scorpio, my name is Kem. Welcome to my channel. So today for your meditative session, I was seeing purple. Uh, some of you might be working on your crown chakra. Like I think I think for most of you, it's going to be working on unblocking your crown chakra. And when it's blocked, this could be, you could have Leo in your chart because Leo was um, suffering from like, well, they also, they saw lavender. I saw lavender for them, which is actually purple. And, but it was more about how they were too like stressed out to sleep. Like they were having trouble sleeping. And I feel like when your crown chakra is blocked, um, it can manifest as well in like insomnia. So I feel like your message could, like if you have Leo in your chart, you should look at that reading. But what I'm also getting is, like what is what is the crown chakra connect you to like what is the purpose of the crown chakra it is for like your spiritual connection like your connection to the divine right like you are divine and you are connected to the divine i feel like a lot of you are like working on unblocking it like working on your connection with a higher power like working on that connection and how to work on it i would say the first thing would be like to detox it's not it's like i would say it's like i don't say it's the hardest thing to unblock but it, it requires like a full body detox because it's the crown chakra right so if you have been feeling disconnected if you haven't been feeling like uninspired if you have like if you check all your chakras like you read about them and you say like oh if it's blocked then I'll, it'll manifest in this way. Well, for Scorpio, I'm getting something about the crown chakra. And yeah, I feel like the best way to unblock it would be some sort of detox. Um, that could all, that could be different for all of you, like in which ways you detox. But I'm just getting detox. So Scorpio, that's what I got for your meditative session. Let's pull some cards and see what we get. I feel like Scorpio, you've been tempted. You've been tempted. Like in the 3D plane, you've been feeling tempted. I feel like in the 3D plane, you feel like you've been being te tempted. Or you feel like there's a lot of temptation for you at this time or there was in the past. There's something here about temptation. There's something here about like materialistic wealth. There's something here about like gambling, like having fun, like... Like, I'm getting, like, a Las Vegas, you know, like, the weekend in Las Vegas vibe. Like, that kind of theme. Like, someone who is kind of, like, Scorpio. I'm seeing, like, this Five of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups with the same person in it. I see, like, the person here in the Five of Pentacles uh, is someone who's, like, sad. Someone in the background of your life, Scorpio, that you may have, like, not wanted to hurt. Or someone that you may have hurt because you were, like, riddled in temptation. There's something here about temptation. I'm getting, like, the weekend vibe. Um, like, the, I, I don't know if I said it already, like, the Las Vegas theme, like, someone who's kind of, like, it's, like, it's, like, the Kanye West cover, it's, like, this or that, and he has, like, a picture of a wedding from his parents, and then he has, like, a picture of Kim Kardashian's butt, it's kind of like that, right, it's, like, it's, like, this or that, and I feel like maybe at one point there was a chance to have like this or that and you chose this and choosing that left someone hurt right someone behind you is hurt someone behind you is crying i feel like there's an energy of someone who like you had a decision to make and it was kind of like that it was kind of like maybe you were like in ego and you couldn't really see any other option so you kind of chose this option and then you found out that it's it kind of led you to nowhere it kind of led you to like being isolated or I, making the people around you feel isolated making the people around you that you love feel isolated like you didn't care about them and meanwhile i think this person meant a lot to you i think this person is like a ton of cups to you this person is like wish fulfillment to you this person is someone that you would like to like 
grow with, the some person that you can see yourself with. And yet, like, you hurt this person because you were tempted, because you were, like, it could be that you were working in ego. It could be that you were, like, you were unable to see at the time. But I feel like now you are able to see. And I feel like that seeing has come, that seeing has come with a loss. Like, I think this person might not be in your life anymore, Scorpio. And I feel like with, because of that loss, you're able to now see what it is that, you missed out on because i have the 10 of pentacles here and i have the 10 of cups so i have like the end of a cycle here right and then i have the reading ending with the ace of wands a brand new beginning so there's a brand new beginning for you scorpio and i think it's it's because you are trying to get out of this energy or you're seeing you're seeing where you were sitting in this energy and you are unhappy with like the actions that you took like you're reflecting and you're like okay i don't want to act in that energy anymore i don't want to be in that energy because i hurt someone i lost someone in my life and that's not the energy that i choose to be in anymore and i feel like i'm talking to some sort of masculine energy because i have the feminine here that's hurt and then i have the father so i could be talking to a masculine scorpio or i could be talking to a scorpio who's connected to a masculine energy and this is like someone that you're attached to but um you choose how this resonates but with the father and the scribe this is like an energy you know the the emperor did not come out in reverse so i'm happy like i'm not seeing that but i do see like sometimes the emperor can be like set in their ways right and I feel like a cocky energy coming from his father. I've never seen him like that. But today I'm feeling like someone who's like a little cocky. Like he has his own little wand in his hand and he can create. Like he feels like he can create everything. And it doesn't really need to involve like spirit, right? I feel like that's kind of a past energy where you felt like you didn't need spirit to co-create. You kind of felt that you could create everything on your own. And like whatever you created was like due to the fruits of your own labor right it didn't like have anything to do with the divine it was more of like an egocentric thought process and i feel like with a scribe that's what's changing it's like spirit is giving you the like i feel like you had to go through some sort of loss so that you could step out of this energy and yes know that you are able to manifest what you want but it always takes like the divine to guide you right the divine to help you like Nothing you create in this earth is without the help of the divine. And I think that's what this loss has taught you. Or that was what the loss was meant to teach you. That there is no creation without the divine. And even though you are powerful, even though you are sitting in emperor energy, the divine is the one that's always there guiding you, like giving the green light to your projects. So I feel like that's how you had to be humbled so that you could understand that nothing works without them right like they work through you yeah and i just feel like this has been this has taken time this has taken time to get you to this point where you kind of understand and like this is spirit working on you i think this could be like even at night time like you getting the downloads that spirit wants you to like that they want you to understand and this is leaving you in balance right because you are understanding the way that like, the universe works the way like like you need their help to create what it is that you want to create and instead of like pushing them away and thinking that everything is done on your own it's like no you're only given that power through the divine like they they work through you right and that is like creating a balance in your life a balance of like acceptance acceptance of the past acceptance of like what you lost yeah and i feel like the cocky energy is like not there anymore like the cocky energy is going to leave you because i feel like before it was all like you thought everything was on your own merit and it had nothing to do with the divine and now you're understanding that it has everything to do with the divine and that is what's creating this balance in your life so again i i don't see this ten of pentacles in reverse but with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles here um like i'm seeing this as the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle and the thing with this is that it starts like simultaneously like some things start to like shed in your like are get like they get lost in your life right like you just kind of like there's not an abrupt ending and then an abrupt beginning like that's not how it works like start some things will start to leave your life and some things will start to come into it at the same time like it's enmeshed into one right so that's what's going on right now like 
there could have been some sort of loss in your life and this could have occurred a long time ago um but like try to change your perception on my like on <laughs> try to change your perception on time um there is like no time it's like a, it's a construct right so when you were ready to receive this new beginning that's when this new beginning will come it has nothing to do with like the 3d perception of time it has to do with when you're ready right when you are ready to accept this loss when you were ready to see like why you had to have this loss when you were ready to understand to like let spirit in that they want to guide you that like everything works through them that like it's not only you like you're not you're not like they work through you right yes you have the ability to manifest but like it's only through the divine right and this this balance that's coming into your life i feel like you might have had a chance at a 10 of pentacles and a 10 of cups like something of a 10 of cups 10 of pentacles in your life and like this 10 of pentacles is the first thing to come back around and then this 10 of cups will come back around as well like i feel like this is the beginning the 10 of pentacles and then the 10 of cups will come back around so it's, it's kind of working in this way like once you're fully balanced the first thing you'll see is the ten of pentacles and then the next thing you'll see is this ten of cups and then this new like th this new beginning and they're not all simultaneous and they're not all you know directly in order it's just an it's just things are just going to start in your life right i feel like there's there's times where you sat like wondering if you'll ever have a chance at this again like at this ten of pentacles ten of cups new beginning like is this for me is this ever going to happen for me but i feel like with this coming in reverse it's like saying that you're not in that energy anymore of like wondering if this is going to happen for you you know that like the way that the universe works is that everything is going to come back around once you've aligned yourself once you've balanced, your, balanced yourself once you've like come into that energy which you have once you've like worked with spirit which you have been it's like it's no more of this like sitting in do i deserve this energy um and once you sit in the energy of like yes i do deserve this but not like in a cocky way in a way of like accepting like yes this is what i deserve because i did put hard work into it and i you know like i co-created with the universe something from the heart and that's why this ten of pentacles is going to come into your life and then comes this brand new beginning right and a chance at everything all over again like spirit gives you a chance to reset and restart and it's a beautiful new beginning because you understand who you are you understand like where your ego might have taken you you understand why it took you there you understand the loss that you had um it's like everything is understood and everything is like being worked on and the divine is helping you with every step and i just feel like all these like this ten of cups ten of pentacles new beginning is coming for you because you've done the work right so this is a beautiful reading scorpio let's pull some advice and see what you got Okay, Scorpio, you guys got 43 Owl Spirit. You see clearly now. This is like exactly what we've been talking about. Everything has like been illuminated to you. And this is like a card that tells me trust like your heart with the green and trust your intuition. Trust like this new beginning for you is going to be led 
in a completely new direction where this Ten of Cups is achievable and this Ten of Pentacles is achievable because you changed who you were, right? That's like, maybe that wasn't your goal at the time and that's why you lost it because whatever your goal was at the time wasn't in alignment with the Ten of Cups. And now it's like you're able to step into the energy of what you truly desire and it's coming back around for you. And in this new cycle, it involves using your intuition and involves like working with spirit and it and it and it will work out for you because like you are open to it right and this is like four three seven it's like the divine number like the divine is with you like the divine has been guiding you if you haven't understood like every step of the journey you're not meant to it's more about like how you feel right and you have Matarazu, the goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. I feel like the story of her is that like life brought her down so heavily that she went into her cave, like she went into a cave and she cried and she was like, I'm not getting out of this cave. And then maybe that's what you've been doing. You've been kind of working with spirit alone. You've kind of been in like isolation, working on these things. But the message of Amaterasu is like, I feel more it's we we are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light we are all like the mirror that whatever you reflected to this person is what caused the loss right whatever energy you were in and that that energy that you were in caused your outer reality right as within so without you created the reality that you saw because of the energy you were in so if you're low vibing you're going to attract the low vibe right if you're low vibing that's what you're seeking out that's that's what's going to be reflected back to you. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. So when you're sitting in a different energy, when you're sitting in this sort of energy, you're balanced and you're like, you're balanced basically, right? And nothing's blocked. Everything is able to flow. The creative energy is able to flow. What you desire is able to flow. Everything is aligned. You will see abundance, right? And what will be reflected back to you and others will be abundant, will be in the same energy and same light as you are. So I think that's a message to remember. It's like we are all secret mirrors reflecting back the same light. If you want to see like high vibe in your life, if you want to achieve this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, this new beginning, it starts with you, right? It starts within and so without. It starts with you starting it and people vibing to you and coming in the same energy. And you will always use your intuition. You will always be able to know like who it is that you can trust, who it is that you can like keep moving forward with, right? So yeah, Scorpio, I love this reading. I hope it helped you guys. And I'll see you. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.